everybody was hooking up with everybody. And R like did that. you and Adrian? It's been 20 years since Drive Me Crazy. Yes, it has. So who are we making jealous? Everyone. What do you remember most about that oh, movie? I, just so much fun with that whole cast. It was such a big cast of so many people my age, whereas mm. I was used to working on, I mean, Sabrina, we had a lot of people my age. But Clarissa, we only had the two boys. So anytime I get to work with peers, it's awesome. And especially in that movie, it was just, we were shooting in Utah. Adrian, I remember doing the, um, I was doing it, I had I had the role of Nicole, but we were trying to find who was gonna play Chase. And so we did a screen test together. And I was just thinking, this guy's, this guy's good. Like, he's deep and he's gonna push me to be better. I don't know if I wanna work with him. Yeah, you know you like it. But it was so great to, like, I was working with an acting coach and we, he and I were running the scenes together constantly and um, just, like, really taking my craft seriously for the first time, I feel like. Yeah. And um, just having those kids around and just being able to play in Utah a little bit, you know, just having fun on the set. Everybody was hooking up with everybody. And like Did that. you and Adrian? Did something happen? No, not me and Adrian. Adrian and Allie Larder. Um, but really? Me and um, a guy named Gabriel Carpenter who played the boy I was chasing in the Yeah, the, the tall blonde the very guy. Very tall guy. Wow. Wow. Everything for very tall men. How funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. Melissa Joan Hart spilling major hookup secrets from the set of Drive Me Crazy. The actress also has a lot to say about working with this iconic pop star. Crazy. Also, the music video yeah. was so iconic. What do you remember about working with Brittany? She and I were crossing paths a lot at the time. She came and did a bit on Sabrina, Sabrina, and because of the movie, we had to do a lot of press together, and we were doing a lot of, like, we hosted TRL together and stuff like that, so there was a lot of us meeting up in random states around the country and random events, but also with, like, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and all those people at the time. Um, you know, it was always fun to run into friendly faces, and she and I became friendly, and we had a little bit of an age difference, and I was always trying to break her out of, she was very protected by a lot of people, and I was always trying to be like, you need to let loose, you're like 17. You need to not be always like in the gym, working, doing your Pepsi commercials, doing the videos, doing, you know, like let's go out and go dancing. So like one I night I broke I love that. I think maybe a little too much. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised then with everything going on right now with her family and stuff? I don't really know. I don't know the um, ins and outs of it because we haven't kept in touch in decades, but I did go to her Vegas show a few years ago. That's what I was gonna and say. And we got to meet up there and- She um, tweeted you. And we're, yeah, yeah, and we're, and we're, we're both moms now, you know? Yeah. And we um, are in a new stage of our, our careers and like just um, interesting, just, you know, kind of seeing her. I wish we had gotten time to just kind of sit and talk, but it was like real quick, she was going on stage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the stories that you guys could probably go back and remember and tell and you guys could have your little ones having I know, dates. I would love to catch up with her at some point, but we just have these busy different lives. Yeah. We can only hope for that melissa Brittany reunion. Another blast from Melissa's past, Clarissa explains it all. I loved Clarissa. Yeah. There were lots of talks of a reboot. Yeah. What's... Um, there was a weird stall out. Nickelodeon was flirting with the idea and I think there was a script was there a script written or an outline or something? But Nickelodeon, the executives changed over there and it kind of got kind of like pushed to the back burner for a minute. So I'm not really sure. I don't, okay. I don't know what happened. Is that something you would still like to revisit? It depends. If it was done right, yeah. yeah. But um, I don't really want to be just the mom on a kid's show. It would have to be like Nickelodeon, it would be a kid's show, you know? Sure. So I feel like it should be a little bit more like Fleabag. Honestly, though. Maybe not quite that. <laughs> But you know, that's where I wish Clarissa had like 10 years later gone was that kind of place. You yeah, know? and I think that's exactly where she probably would have. I think she might have. But for now, Melissa's gearing up to release her new Lifetime Christmas movie coming out on November 2nd. We filmed it in Lake Tahoe where I live right now, so it was awesome because we had snow until June, so it actually snowed a few days on the set, yeah. so it was kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, we, we get to build snowmen and drink cocoa by the fire, and we had a dog in this one. It was really fun. We had a fantastic cast, such fun people to play with. And you play an event planner? I'm an event planner, but my dad and I basically run the inn, okay. and everybody shows up for the holidays. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm in charge of like, you know, the gingerbread house making and the snowman making, and we go skiing and stuff, so I actually got to ski in this movie, which Really fun. That, I actually don't know no if I got it on double? camera. No, I. But we had to do this scene where we're on a lift 
and I kept wanting to ski down. So we'd take the lift up, Ricardo couldn't ski, so he'd take the lift back around. And I would ski down, and they were like, well, we'll turn the camera around and get you. But like twice I did it, and they didn't get it. And I was like, I'm not doing that again. Yeah, you're <laughs> okay. like, you had two I'm shots. Gonna, and now I'm gonna like break my leg in the middle of a shot and not finish the movie, so. Right, right. Do your kids just love that you get to do these holiday Christmas they movies? They have fun with them. They've been in a lot. They're not in this one, okay. but they have been in a bunch of them. So Very Nutty Christmas last year and the year before that, Very Merry Toy Store. They're, yes. They have a few lines and they show up once in a while. You might see them. Is it fun for you to watch them sort of wanting to follow in your footsteps? Do you have reservations? No. Yes, I have reservations. Oh, that's nice. Um, <laughs> I, no. They, they want to do it for all the wrong reasons, you know. They think it's easy. They think they'll be rich. All these things. Instagram so. followers. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Well, luckily my kids are not. On Instagram. They don't have devices, so they're, they're, they've stayed, I've kept them far away from yeah. that stuff. But, uh, as long as I can. But, um, they, yeah, they just like, they like it because, they're fascinated by it, sort of, but not enough. Okay. Like, not in a way that's, like, they haven't picked up on the creativity part of it mm. yet, you know? So, you know, my oldest one wants to be an NFL player, which then he thinks will fund the air, airplane uh, company. He wants, to, he wants to be like Richard Branson. He wants to start his own, he wants to be a pilot and start his own airline. And, you know, the middle one probably still wants to be an astronaut, and the little one is probably gonna be some sort of serial killer. I'm not sure. <laughs> dream, <laughs> dream big. <laughs> How do you balance everything? Keep a really good, calendar, really good schedule, okay. you know, making sure my husband sees everything too. Like today, my son has Mandarin class and the other one has to go Wait, to basketball game. Your son is learning Mandarin? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you raising geniuses? No, not a, <laughs> no. Um, they're, you know, they're, they just, they like what they like and you want to encourage that. You know, his friends were all learning a language in sixth grade, but he had moved to a different school and he was like, well, I choose Mandarin. Can you get me Mandarin? I was like, yeah, let's learn Mandarin. So he's like, someday when we go to the Great Wall, Mom, I'm gonna translate for you. I'm like, all right, you got it. Do you know Mandarin now? I don't. No. No, <laughs> no I, I'm the one that's learning Italian. He's learning Mandarin. The oldest is learning French, and the little one's learning Spanish. So we're trying to cover all our bases because we love to travel. That's amazing. Dinner's <laughs> fun at your house, I bet. <laughs> it is. Languages being thrown around. You more speak like Italian more now? like spaghetti being thrown around. But that's yeah. amazing. But you speak Italian now? I've been studying it for a few years, trying to, but it's. It's hard. Yeah, it's so nerve wracking, like trying to, if anyone's like, oh, speak Italian. I'm like, uh, I don't know what to say. Say I, we should watch your movie, but in Italian. I'll say my name, Mi Chiamo Melissa. That's all I know. Okay.